What is going on guys, it's Jars here, bringing you guys a brand new Infinite Warfare video. Now in today's video, I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks on getting a solo de-atomizer on Infinite Warfare. And this is going to be for most of you players that haven't got one yet, or just someone who can't find a party and needs to basically do a solo because they can't get a group, so let's get into it. Alright, so first of all, you want to start off with game modes and classes. Now some of the classes you want to be using, obviously there's like three variants in the game, but the main one you want to use is the NV4 with silencer. You you can choose the attachments you want, but I'm suggesting something like quick draw or stock and then extend the mags if needed. If you're a person that doesn't really need a lot of perks, I would use the class that I'm using, which is extend the mag, stock, silencer, and quick draw. But if you need something like dexterity and ghost together, you can take off extend the mags, put dexterity and ghost, and just have quick draw, stock, and silencer. But mainly just try to have silencer to stay stealthy on the map, quick draw to snap on people if you're in the situation where you need to aim quickly and so you don't lose guns fights go so you stay off the radar so you don't get like found easy by the whole team and dead silence so you can move around the map freely if you want without being hurt or sound horde so another big part of you getting this deatomizer is the rig you're going to want to be using i suggest synaptic rewind because it refills your ammo and health when you rewind back and it lets you play a little bit more safer around the map when you want to do stuff like like hold one side of the map in this gameplay you actually see i'm holding the left side and then when it gets too hectic i start to rotate back to middle and the right when you're sitting on one side for so long and you keep killing people they're going to keep going back for you until you're dead so I would say get a couple of kills and then rotate to mid or the right and that's what synaptic rewind is going to help you with is rotating to those sides say if you're going to the right side and you get caught from middle and someone's shooting you you can just rewind back and just have a second life and get a second chance at getting that kill and once you get that kill you can just go to the right get some kills there and once they start noticing that you're there just sit in there camping and then you can rotate back to the left and just keep going back and forth you don't want to sit in the area of the map for too long because the enemy team is going to notice and some people actually have like nade classes and stuff so they might take that out and try to nade you out or they're just gonna try to go for you like until you're dead so you want to move around the map and try to stay stealthy so let's talk game modes really quickly there are two game modes that people are gonna first hand think okay I can hop in here and get the nuke easy first is domination which I don't suggest if you're going in there solo um, it's just not worth the hopping and domination solo because say if your team sucks and the other team is really really good um, the other team can easily get streaks off your teammates and then hold you guys in a trap and then obviously when you're in a trap you can't get 25 kills without dying also the chances of you finding a good team to put the other team in a trap so you can kind of hold down the spawns and have really good map control to get the deatomizer is really rare so like TDM is probably the best game up to go in right now um, there's a lot of low levels there's not really spawn trapping which you can spawn trap but your team's gonna have to play perfectly like in the middle and like kind of know where to look sometimes but you can't get spawn trap if your team is doing bad and you can kind of roam around the map just picking people off playing on the edges of the map and just like rotating back and forth and trying to play stealthy so yeah like i said before tdm is the way to go if you can get a group of six sometimes to play dom it's more controlled easier to trap the other team and just easier to hold a lane but obviously this video is for solo players so you're going to want to be hopping in tdm you're not going to get it on your first game but give it a couple of tries like learn the maps learn how to move around the edges of the map and rotate and like get you sustain on one side of the map getting a couple kills rotating to the other and then doing it back and forth until obviously you get the d atomizer all right so one last thing before the video ends obviously you want to have really good map awareness you want to look at the mini map at all times and know where your teammates at um you can kind of know where the enemy team's at and where your team is standing so you want to be aware where your team is at all times so you don't get like flanked or shot from the side and also obviously you want to use non-lethals you don't want to have like a ward enough stealing all the kills and then the game ending quickly so yeah that's pretty much it for the video hopefully this helped all the solo players or beginner players trying to get a de-atomizer um let me know if the tips help down below in the comment section and yeah give the video a like rating subscribe and share and i'll see everyone in the next video peace